Do you guys remember when I uploaded shitty footage from some camera that recorded with a flash memory card? Do you remember flash memory cards? Do you guys remember those videos of roller coasters like Nitro and Medusa? It's not called Medusa anymore. From a park that will remain nameless that I have since parted ways from. Do you guys remember when I used to rant about trivial things like a, a flat-headed screwdriver and how I think Phillips head is the, the far more superior of the screwdrivers? Do you guys remember when I did parkour? Do you guys remember when I started useless YouTube drama that really amounted to nothing with guys like Cloud8745, I Justine, Shane Dawson, Ray William Johnson, PewDiePie. I think that's it. No, then there's me, myself, and Pie. That's so Jack. That that's that's it. There wasn't many more. Right, Chris Bores. James Rolfe. All right, we get the point. Do you guys remember when I made that rant about? the movie Kill Bill and how the Japanese version was so much better because they kept a lot more gore and violence in it than the American version. And in that video that I made back in 2008, that very Kill Bill video is where I uttered the phrase for the first time on my channel, the prophetic phrase that became a tagline of my channel, get that shit out of here, that someone else stole and they will be hearing from my lawyer about. Do you guys remember when Google didn't own YouTube? Do you guys remember when I made videos that didn't have any ads on them for years on end because ads didn't exist on this website? Do you guys remember when 123 of my videos got flagged for copyright content? <laughs> Boy, someone put in a lot of work for nothing in that one. Do you guys remember when my videos got flagged, taken down, and this channel was gone? Do you guys remember when I, Justine's sister, was cooking something in the microwave and the alarm went off while she was talking about 9-11? Do you guys remember the first let's all laugh at fanboy comments? Do you guys remember the day that I went to the grocery store, or that I cut my lawn, or that I went to Home Depot, or that I went to Disney World, or that I went on a date, or that I got married, or that I read the Bible, or that I went to church? Well, for all of you that do remember all those times, you are the people that have really truly motivated me to get to where we are at today, which is 1,000 videos. Now, those of you that didn't come on so early along and don't remember a lot of those older videos or never went back to watch my earlier videos, you were the guys, the guys that did do this, you, you were the guys that really just helped push me along to get to where we are at today, which is now a channel that has 1,000 active viewing videos. I've obviously made more than 1,000 videos. I know someone's going to be like, well, technically you've made more than 1,000 because you've made like live show announcements and then you take them down after the live show is done. So uh, yes, technically I've made more than 1,000 videos, but this is the first time ever there's 1,000 active viewable videos on this channel. And this is something that transcends any subscriber amount that I could get on this channel, any amount of money that I could have made on this channel. It's, this is something that, geez, I very rarely have trouble finding the words to say. This is something that when I sit down, I think about it. A thousand times I've committed to sitting down in front of a camera, turning it on, talking to it, and spouting about whatever the hell I want to. Sometimes what I think you guys want to hear, sometimes what I think only I want to hear. 
and try to see if someone out there is interested in hearing what I have to say, or see what I have to say for that matter. And it's at this point where I'm just like, I, I, I can't believe it has gotten this big, that it is something that I've devoted time and effort in my life and granted I, I am not by any means stating that this is like you know the hard man's work and these are masterpieces all to themselves a thousand masterpieces of our train content no it's nothing like that anyone who knows me for any amount of time knows that this is a lazy man's channel and something that has never been or planned to be beyond a hobby I'm not the type of guy that's ever wanted to, you know, put extreme amount of time of effort in pre-effects, post-effects. Hi, new dog. Thank you for sneezing on me during the video. Thank you. Um, and that is wanted to, you know, devote enough time to be able to read every single email that comes in, every single comment. And, you know, for that, I'm always sorry, but at the same time, you can't expect me to be that guy because this is something that is always just going to be a hobby for me. And it's something that's probably going to be more farther down on the hobby list of uh, amounting and allocating time to, you know, answer those emails, see all those comments, and, you know, <clears throat> even have the amount of interactivity that I have in the past, had in the past. And just knowing that this is a thousand videos, I mean, just to really wrap my mind around that is astonishing that it has gotten to this point from the guy that was just an active member on the eBaums World Forum who went by the, 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 the login name, The Arch Fiend, that transitioned over here because, you know, he was an active member there and he just wanted to share the videos he wanted with the world and make opinions about this or that. Ran about fat people. Ran about old people still wanting to drive. <laughs> talk about the Philadelphia Eagles and talk about something that I truly feel passion for in my life and share it with people that hopefully they can feel an ounce of passion for too. Or just enjoy someone having an impassioned speech about what they love. And saying thank you just isn't enough the way that I thank the people that find an ounce of entertainment in what I do, whether it's love or hate, that's what this channel has always been about. It's, you know, I'm the arch fiend, a name that's <laughs> contrived from the from the, the servant of Satan or Satan himself, whatever. I don't know. The, um, my, I took the name from Korean history for those of you who don't know. But anyway, I'm someone who's always said, you know, speak your mind whether or not you feel your opinion is going to agree or disagree with everyone you're speaking to. And I could tell you, if you're someone out there, there's no way that you could watch a thousand pieces of individual work here, a thousand different opinions, different stances, different portrayings of my comedy, that you will agree with all of them. And it's natural that you don't agree with every opinion, every joke I've made, whether you feel that, oh, that was too offensive, or oh, that was too over the top, that was too cheesy, that opinion is too harsh, you're too overcritical. Because frankly, I look back on some of the stuff I did, I go, yeah, I was overcritical. Yeah, this video doesn't contribute anything to society. Yeah, this video was a mistake. That stance was a mistake. Those actions were a mistake. But that's the thing. Mistakes are a part of a human life. And you watching me and not liking what I have to say and then liking something else I have to say is a part of human life. And I'm always grateful for that, that I've held an audience for this long, beat an audience that's dwindling and hearing people go, oh my God, you should stick with YouTube drama. You're, you're losing a lot of your audience that just tuned in for that, that got catered that their needs catered for years on end and I've you know diverged so far away from the whole YouTube drama ends of things here on this channel I know I could make a lot more money here I know I could get a lot more viewership I know I could get 
a lot larger of a subscriber base if I stuck with the formula that worked for this channel before. But that's the thing. It was never about the money. It was never about the subscriber base. It was just about me being me. And at the time, talking about YouTube drama, that was the end thing here for me. I enjoyed it. But I matured, much like a majority of human beings hopefully do. I'm talking to you, bro army. And <laughs> it turned into more of something that I want to do what I want to do and not so much what I think you guys want to hear. And I've echoed that point before. And I'm sorry if a lot of these points are just repeating to the people that have watched my videos time and time again. Anyway... I just want to say it's it's been a, it's been a long ride. It's been a fun ride, and much like those first videos I've uploaded, and this is going to be really cheesy and cliche. The whole thing has been a roller coaster. There's been ups and downs, and frankly, we're we're winding near the end here. It's nearing the end of the ride. We're about to return to the station and all unload because eventually someday. And I can't say I can put a date on it, but this is going to be something where I'm like, you know what, this was just a fun part of my life, but I have to part ways from it. And saying that, you know, it may scare people away from this channel saying, oh, he's going to give up soon or something like that. That's one of the things about this channel that I've always said from day one is that keep it real. Just keep it real to yourself, Archfiend. <laughs> Stick to an opinion. Speak, speak to what you believe in. Now, granted, I've gone back on some opinions I've had. I've changed my mindset, as any other normal human would do. But at the time of making my videos, I always have operated by the principle of keep it real. And that's why I'm not going to sit here and say to you guys, oh, don't worry, guys, I'm going to be here for hundreds of years on end because I'm going to plan to live to the age of 300. You know, honestly, I do see this someday just becoming something that doesn't interest me. Maybe it'll be the day in the near future where Girlfriend and I start having children. And, you know, something like this just isn't worth the few minutes of time that I allocate to it. And again, <laughs> it's never about the money. It's never about the following. It never was, even though, you know, people will tell you until they're blue in the face, oh, he's just a money whore. He just wants to be popular like Shane Dawson and PewDiePie and all those people he picks on. He lives in his parents' basement. Anyways, what I'm getting at is it has been a massive ride, and you guys are the ones that have motivated me to the point to get to 1,000. Someday that motivation will be gone. And that's the real part of things here. But the fact that we've gotten to where we are here, and I say we've gotten, because without an audience and without people showing interest, either love or hate, and that's the thing people need to realize is the hate that this channel draws, the, the jealousy accusers and all that stuff, that motivates me just as much to make content as the people. And, you know, it, it may be wrong that's like that, but it's just the personality that I have. If I said something that agitated more people than it pleased, it motivates me that much more to make another video that's going to agitate those same people. Now, again, in a lot of ways, I've matured beyond that, but... It was something that I did and did quite often. And the past is the past, and the now is the now. And I talk more about the Philadelphia Eagles than anything else, which is something that agitates the shit out of me. But they're going to do good this year. Anyway. Thank you all. Thank you to the people and the friendships that I've made through YouTube to just finding someone ranting about Ray William Johnson on YouTube and making a friendship with them, talking about Undertaker Freak 1127, to something that just was a, someone who I talked to just with about YouTube videos to now I just talk to about baseball or just life occurrences and what's going on and just how's it going and just random shit like that. 
like stuff like that that will last above and beyond what this website can do for me and the people that I've met and the good times that I've had, all of that, all of that collectively is just such an awesome experience. But I won't lie, it's been nice to make some money off of this as well. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you all. It's been a thousand <laughs> awesome experiences. They may not have all been good times for everyone, but it's been a thousand experiences here that I've been more than glad to make for you. So here's to a thousand more. New Dog is so captivated by this video that he just decided to just lay on the couch and eat a toy the whole time. New Dog! Sup, dude? You got anything you want to say? Awesome. A man of many words. Anyway. Believe it or not, this is the third video that I've shot for this. Like, it's, uh, I, just, I just, I don't know. I just, nothing felt good the way I was conveying what I wanted to say here. I mean, this is a thousand videos. This video's got to be good, so it's worth reshooting, right? Anyway, I am now the Herb McGee of YouTube. You guys probably don't even know who Herb McGee is, and frankly, I wouldn't if what he did wasn't relevant to Philadelphia. So someone, someone Google Herb, Herb McGee and why, why I am the Herb McGee of YouTube. Because I think it's actually a pretty fitting analogy. Anyways, have a good day, everyone. And New Dog just dropped his toy. So we'll end with that. I'll do a real sad cinematic shot. Look at the oh, look at the production of this. This is called The Death of a Sad Boy. Get ready. Here come the tears. Boom. Have a good day, everyone.